Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. I recently had a request on how to convert the keyboard shortcut Control V from paste to paste values only. Now this is going to require a little bit of VBA code, so let's see how we can do this in Excel. So I have two files here, one called paste values only, and you can see in cell E2 it has a formula equals 5 times 6 and the results here is 30. And I have another one called paste values no macro, and again in cell E2 I have a formula 7 times 8 times 5, which gives me the result of 280. Now, when I do a control C to copy and a control V to paste, it doesn't paste the value, it pastes the formula, which again results in the same value. But what the request is, is if I copy that with control C, I want to use control V and just get the values. Now there's other ways to do that. Certainly you can right click and go to values and it'll just give you the 30. Or you can control C and like what I've done is I've put the paste values icon command in my quick access toolbar. I click that and get that result and there's multiple other ways to do it. But what this requester had asked is can I do a control C to copy and when I do a control V I don't want the formula, I want just the values only. And I'm copying it actually from another worksheet. Well, we're going to have to use some VBA to accomplish this. So the first thing you have to have is a developer tab. And again, that's here in the ribbon. If you don't have it, very simply go to your file, your options, your customize the ribbon, and just make sure the developer box is checked there. And when you go to the Developer tab, you're going to open up your Visual Basic command. And your Visual Basic editor will pop up. And you can see it. it's going to show the files that you have open. Now I have some personal storage files available, so it's a little more complicated than you might normally see. But this is our file, Paste Values Only. And I'm going to go and do an Insert Module. And now the Modules folder pops up, and there's one module or Module 1 in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the name of that to Paste Values. So now you can see my module is paste values. Now I click in that and I do an insert procedure. And I'm going to call this paste as value. And I'm going to hit OK. And Excel will automatically put the sub paste value with open and close parentheses, then end sub. And I only have to enter one command. And I actually already have this typed out, so I'm just going to paste it in here. And the command is selection dot paste special paste colon equals Excel paste values. And that's all we need to do in terms of the code. Now, when I go to save this, first of all, notice this file is paste values only. It's an XLSX file, just a standard uh, macro free workbook. But when I go to save this, Excel reminds me that if I want to insert macros into my workbook or any VBA code, I have to make it a macro enabled workbook. So here you have to hit no, and then when the save as box pops up into save as type, you have to choose macro enabled workbook. And I'll hit save. And now notice it's an XLSM, not just an XLSX. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. So now the next thing I need to do is I go into my macros. Here's my macro, paste as value. I'm going to go down to options. And in my shortcut key, I'm going to make it a control V. Now what this is going to do is override your normal paste and now control V will activate this macro. I'll say OK. I'll close this. Now, if I go to my other worksheet and I copy that formula, when I come back to this worksheet and I do a Control V, notice it doesn't paste the formula, it pastes the values. So that's how we've converted the Control V from a paste 
to a paste values only. Now, there's a problem with this. If I go back to my other worksheet, which is not macro enabled, it just happens to be open at the same time that the one with the macro, control V, to make it paste only is open. Now when I copy this formula and paste it here with control V, notice it does a paste values only. And I don't want that to happen. I only want it to happen on that one workbook. So if we go back to that workbook here, we're going to have to edit our VBA code a little bit to at least prohibit that control V from doing paste values only in other workbooks. So I'm going to click on my macros, select that, and go to edit. And in that module, that paste values module, I'm going to insert two other lines. And the code that we're going to enter is an if statement. And basically, it's going to say, if the active workbook is this workbook, then run this code. And then we're going to end if. And we're going to save that. So now, if I'm in this workbook, and I copy and do a Control V, notice it pastes the value. If I'm in a different workbook here, and I control C to copy that, go over to here and control V, notice again it pastes value. But in that other workbook, if I do a control C and now I do a control V, nothing happens. So if you have that workbook open that has that macro that converts control V to paste values only, and you put in that code with the if statement, it will only allow you to paste values only into that workbook. In any other workbook, it will just not do anything. Control V just won't work. Now, if I subsequently close this file that has the macro in it, and now when I'm in any other workbook and I do a Control V, it will work normally. It will paste the formulas if I wanted to paste the formulas. That control V now will not be a paste values only. So it's a little bit of a hitch in the process, but at least it will tell you that you have another file open that has that macro in it that has control V doing paste values only. And this way, you can either close it or you can use other alternatives. For example, you can just right click and hit paste and it will paste it normally. So that's how you can accomplish this in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.